The definition of happiness is the state of being happy. The definition of happy is to feel or show contentment or pleasure. What's your definition of happiness? Have you ever truly felt it? Well, my definition of happiness isn't just being content. It's being more than content. Content means to be okay with the circumstances. When I'm happy, I don't believe it's just because I'm content. I believe it's because the place I'm at brings me pure joy. I wouldn't be able to think of anything better. If I were happy, a little while ago, Ms. Gallagher said to me, how do I know if I'm happy? Am I happy or discontent? Everyone in their life has gone through a moment where they weren't happy. Maybe they weren't happy with themselves. Maybe they weren't happy with someone else. Happiness can be shattered by anything and everything. It's okay to not be tough sometimes. It's okay to feel feelings, but it isn't okay to stay unhappy. Staying unhappy can lead to depression. In fact, according to the Healthline, a newsletter about health, 5% of the world's population suffers from depression. People get knocked down sometimes, and we don't even know what's knocking us down. But there's an importance in getting back up. So, I'm here to give you possibly one of the most important pieces of information to succeed in life. I'm here to tell you how to become happy in just four steps. Sounds impossible, right? Step number one. Let go of social media. Okay, I bet your heart skipped a beat when I said that. Social media has become a large importance in our life. It, hel it helps us make friends, talk to friends, and showcase our beauty. Although it seems like it's all good, it can actually cause lots of damage to our self-esteem and our overall happiness. According to Pharma and Healthcare, scientific studies have shown that teens who use social media more than two hours a day so tendencies towards mental health disorders such as depression and anxiety. The longer we use social media, the harder it is to tear away from it. Pharma and healthcare have even more studies that show that when people stop using social media, they go through the psychological symptoms of withdrawal as if social media were a drug. And of course, social media forces us to compare ourselves to other people. I scroll on my Instagram, on my Instagram timeline and it's just filled with the prettiest girls, with the prettiest eyes, and the perfect body. It hurts a little sometimes. That's why it's okay to back away from social media, especially when you're feeling sad. It can accelerate your sadness, sometimes even putting it into overdrive. Just make sure you don't shut out the important people around you, because there are people who can help. Step number two, stay healthy, stay happy. Everyone hates exercise. It hurts, it makes us sweat, and it's way worse than just laying in bed and doing nothing. But as the doctors have been saying, it's important. Exercise can actually boost lots of hormones. We call these the happy hormones. Happy hormones are hormones in our body that help with things like confidence, motivation, and love towards each other. Serotonin is the hormone of confidence. It's boosted by B6 vitamins. It's always important to boost this hormone because without it, you'll feel lonely and a bit depressed. This is why it's important to stay healthy. A balanced and healthy diet can also keep all of your hormones balanced. It can make your love for both yourself and others stronger. It can motivate you to achieve your goals and more. Many of these hormones can be easily boosted through different foods. Dopamine, a hormone of motivation, can be increased by fruit and vegetables like watermelon, spinach, and tomatoes. They can all be boosted through exercise. With low levels of dopamine, you may suffer from procrastination and lack of enthusiasm. Oxytocin, the love hormone, can be boosted with hugs, massages, and cuddles. This hormone can also make affection stronger, thus making relationships stronger. Now, these last steps are the most important steps. These final steps will make you the most happiest person you've probably ever been in your life. Step number three, let go, let go of the people who hurt you. Easier said than done, right? Well, if you're like me, it's hard. See, I'm the type of person who forgives easily. I'd rather love than hate. I've been hurt lots of times from friends to family to boyfriends. I've cried or lashed out in anger because of the fact that it was the, pe the people I loved the most who hurt me. It left a big scar, making it hard for me to trust everyone. But eventually, I taught myself that the people I loved needed to treat me the way I treated them, which was with care and love. So I began letting people go. I began blocking myself from the pain that I knew these people could cause. Did it hurt to let go? Definitely. But it would have hurt, but it would have hurt to hold on even more. People who care about you would never hurt you. The people that say they're there for you and instead hurt you are considered fake. 
Fake people are extremely toxic and can hurt you the most because of how attached you become to them. So I'm here to tell you that sometimes we need to let go of people to accept happiness into our lives. These people bring us temporary happiness, but a permanent stain of pain. So watch out for, pe for yourself. Don't let people toss you around. Step number four, the final and most important step. This step is to take time for yourself, something that most people don't do. We live in a world where selflessness is the only way to be seen as a good person, but sometimes taking time to yourself is important. Taking time to yourself can better your relationship with yourself and strengthen your self-love. Self-love is something many, many people struggle with. I would know because I've had my own personal experiences. Two years ago, I didn't know what it meant to love myself. I only knew what it meant to compare myself to other people. In my mind, there was no such thing as loving myself. There was only liking myself more or less than one person. It broke me down because I compared and compared, and by not taking time to just think about myself and love myself, I managed to scar myself due to the plaque of insecurities. Eventually, however, I learned to give time to myself, to stop thinking of other people from time to time, and to let myself be happy. It made my life much better, making me a stronger, more confident, and more happy person. That's why I think it's the most important step. The root of happiness starts with yourself. Think about it. You can't fully love someone until you love yourself. You can't fully invest time into people until you invest time into yourself. You are the most important thing to yourself. You are the most reliable thing when it comes to life. It's important to take care of the best thing you have, yourself. Now, I want you to try these four steps. Try your best, Adam, and I guarantee that you'll be happy in no time. Thanks for listening and have an awesome night.